I'm curious to see how Richard Dagenet spends a rainy morning, especially a rainy Friday morning. Let's see what he's doing. Good morning, Richard. I uh, come up with a very good way to spend my Friday morning, even though it's a rainy Friday morning. Uh, it is an event called Step Up for the Cure, Guillory. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on, the lacrosse team's coming by. Oh, how convenient. There, <laughs> there they go. They're actually out training very early this morning. Step up for the cure. Uh, it is an event to raise money for cancer research. It is going to be happening from noon tomorrow until noon Sunday. It's people, 200 people who are going to run for 24 hours up and down these stairs. Guillory, wow. what are you doing Saturday and Sunday? You know what? I could do it. That sounds like a challenge that I would love to take on. And they're asking anybody, any any member of the public who'd like to come. You don't have to run for the 24 hours. You can just run for an hour, half an hour, five minutes, one trip up, one trip down. Uh, but they estimate that 11 million people are going to be diagnosed with cancer worldwide in 2007, and they're going to run a stair for each of those people who's diagnosed. Nice idea, don't it's you think? It's a great idea. Hey, Richard, I would love to race you up those stairs. How much fun would that be? Where are you, Guillory? All right. I'm ready to race you. You want to go? Yeah, Let's don't go. miss you the challenge if you're not going to show up. <laughs> Come Listen, on. I'll take you anytime, Dagenet. I would so beat you, you up the stairs. You and what army? Eat my dust. All right. <laughs> well, you practice because you're going to need it, and I'll yes. check back and see how you're doing. And you're right. It's a great idea. <laughs> I'm already idea. out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, time to take a short break here at This Morning Live. Coming up next, Richard Dagenet and sports. Good morning, everybody. 722 Friday morning. Must go outside, see how Richard is doing. He's about to run those big stairs for a very good cause. He'll tell you all about it. Good morning. Good morning, Guillory. That's right. It is an event called Step Up for the Cure. It is happening here at Molson Stadium from uh, noon Saturday until noon Sunday. Look at this. We've got the entire McGill swimming team out here early this morning. Yeah. Uh, they estimate that 11 million people will be diagnosed with cancer worldwide uh, from uh, over the course of uh, 2007 and they're going to run a stair for uh, each of the people who is diagnosed and the public's invited to come out too and run some stairs for five minutes uh, an hour whatever you want to do uh, it sounds like a great event we've got a lot more to tell you about it later on this morning live We're going to toss things over to Richard now. He's hanging out, uh, climbing okay, stairs for a very good cause. Good morning, Guillory. It is called Step Up for the Cure, and it is going to be happening from noon tomorrow until noon Sunday. Uh, about 200 people, 24 hours, they're going to be going up and down the stairs. And with Dan Fisher, who's the event founder, organizer. Where did the idea come from, Dan? Well, we were on the stairs uh, training a few uh, years ago with one of my friends, and his father just passed away from cancer, so we thought, a great idea to incorporate stair running into a uh, charity fundraiser so that's where we are and we tried to find a, a symbolic goal to use and what we have this year is that um, there'll be 11 million people diagnosed in the world so everyone here is trying to run one stair for each of those people okay and all the money goes to cancer research all the money goes to the cancer research society uh, how hard is it to organize an event like this uh, it's pretty difficult the, the hardest thing is to get people to come out and, and realize how, how much fun it can be to, to climb stairs and take on a, a very difficult challenge like this. That's the most difficult thing to get involved with. And people watching can come out. Yeah, we, we're encouraging everyone from Montreal to come out. You can come out and climb one stair, one set for an hour, for, uh, for a day. Every single step counts and it represents someone's life in the world. Okay. Um, and uh, in terms of uh, who can participate, do you have people who watch and make sure they're healthy enough or what? Uh, no, everyone can do it. Everyone can come out and you, you don't have to run up the stairs. You can come and walk, you know, one stair, a whole set, whatever you like. Um, there's no real requirement at all. We've had people as young as four and as old as uh, 85. You got some special supporters coming out? Yeah, lots of them. <laughs> uh, Justin Trudeau is going to be launching it? Yeah, Justin Trudeau will be here. He'll be doing the opening ceremonies at 11.45 a.m. We also have Jennifer Heal, the Olympic gold medalist, coming out to run some stairs. And uh, Chris Bellin from Montreal is a great artist. He's going to be performing at 10 p.m. Okay. Justin's not running stairs? <laughs> yeah, he will. He's going to, he'll, he'll open the, the whole thing and then he's going to run stairs for about an hour with us. Okay. Uh, Do you, you have, have breath? Am I out of, are you out of breath? <laughs> <laughs> if you're Sorry, not out of breath, I'm not out of breath. <laughs> no, I'm doing all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a, like an invitation to people to get them to come out? Uh, yes, we have everything you need. Because they're watching you now thinking you're crazy. <laughs> No, really, we do encourage everyone to come out. It's, it's not as difficult as it looks. It's just sort of a fun time to come out and enjoy the festivities and you know, walk them and down some stairs. Yeah, I, some of the people who took part in, because this is the third time you do this, some of the people who took part last year said that it is a lot of fun. It is. I mean, there's, we had them here. You, you spoke to them earlier. 
it's a great day of fun and inspiration. You know, you're really coming out and, and making a difference and, <coughs> and running some meaningful sets for everyone. So it's a great time. It is noon uh, tomorrow until noon Sunday. I want to thank the members of the McGill swimming team who came out this morning to run with us. Stay with us. we got lots more coming up on This Morning Live. <laughs> Hey. Let's see how Richard is doing. He's over at Molson Stadium and he's stepping it up for a cure. He's getting active for a very good cause. Good morning. Good morning. It is called Step Up for the Cure and it's going to be happening here at Molson Stadium from noon tomorrow until noon on Sunday. Uh, they estimate that about 11 million people worldwide are going to be diagnosed with cancer in 2007 and the idea is to run one stair for each of those people. 11 million sounds like a whole lot. Actually, last year I think they ran like 1.5 million stairs and this year 11 million. So they'll need your help if you're at home and you'd like to come. You don't have to run for 24 hours the way they will. Uh, you can run for five minutes, one hour. 20 minutes, you can do one set of stairs, but they're going to count your stairs toward the total. We've got actually a members of the McGill swim team who are out here this morning uh, doing this for us. I want to thank them all for coming. Uh, I'm with Megan this morning, uh, Megan Lebrun, who is one of the participants. And Megan, what's it mean to you to take part in this event? Um, I think it's an amazing thing, uh, just remembering uh, the people who we've lost to cancer. It's a lot of people. Uh, I've definitely have lost an uncle just recently. and. I'm doing this for him and not only for him but um, for the family. Um, watching someone go through cancer is one of the worst things in the world and I think it's, it's a really great thing what everyone's doing here, either being someone who's been directly affected or just helping it out. I think it's just awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you have an appeal to people watching to come out and run a few stairs uh, because all the money's going to cancer research? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a, it's a great event. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun too, 24 hours. Uh, I'm really excited. Yeah. You're going to be running? I'm going to be running for 24 hours. I have three girls I'm running with. I definitely can't do 15 sets by myself, that's for sure. Um, but we're going to be doing four sets each on the hour. Ah, you're going to be doing a relay. Yeah, basically. We can't, I can't do it. I'm not an athlete like these McGill swimmers, but uh, <laughs> we're going to be doing four an hour. Because I was wondering, how do you prepare your body for an event like that? Because to me, it seems like it's way more grueling than a regular race. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we've actually been training now for the past two months. I've definitely been out of shape before that. We would go to the um, Mount Royal and we would run stairs for about an hour. Okay. So that's how we kind of prepared ourselves to uh, to get here today. Like just, I was just doing it a little bit earlier and, and just going down the stairs, it makes me kind of dizzy. And, you, yeah. and I wonder how many people miss their step and fall you know what surprisingly I haven't seen anyone fall yet I'm one of the clumsiest people on the planet so I think I think it'll be okay I think we're gonna do fine well <laughs> if you I, I nearly wiped out a couple of times so you, you must be way more coordinated than I am uh, it is a, a really fun event though and a lot of people who took part in past uh, step up for the cure events say how much fun it is uh, that you're here in such a great site yeah absolutely and also it's fun uh, a lot of my family and friends are gonna be coming and they're not even they're just like you said before five minutes they're gonna do it give a little donation and uh, it's going to be awesome. Okay. Megan Lebrun is uh, a student at Concordia University actually, but taking part in the Step Up for the Cure event, which as I said before, is going to be happening from noon tomorrow until noon Sunday to raise money for cancer research. You don't have to come and run 24 hours the way, I think there's 200 people who are going to be, and you're one of the 200 or your team, your relay team? Yeah, we're a part of that 200 people. Okay. <laughs> but they could use all the help that they can to get to that total of 11 million, and they say 11 million because that's the number of people who are going to be diagnosed worldwide with cancer.